Hi everyone, uh, this is my first uh, really how-to video on anything like this and really the only reason I'm sharing it with you is because of the struggle that I had figuring it out. I thought I might be able to help you guys out. These are really inexpensive LED lights. Um, they work kind of cool once you get them all figured out. Uh, the picture on the box, if you'll see it, it shows three red, three green, three blue, three white. It's not the case with these lights. These lights, they all light up the same color at the same time, which is better because they're brighter that way. Um, now, this shows that uh, there's a white channel, but there's not really a white channel. Red, green, and blue make an almost white. It's, it's kind of a blue-white. Um, not really a good white. But anyway, uh, this is the light. It's fairly small. It's only four inches in diameter. If you compare it to my hand here, I'm telling you I'm not very good at this, but it's it's pretty small. Um, uh, I got one over here that's I can get my hands on so you can see the back of it and stuff. It's got your uh, places to plug in your DMX cables, which are just a microphone cable. Uh, you're going to want to go in from your DMX controller uh, with your first light. And then you can just daisy chain them together out of this one into the next one. Out of the next one, they'll just go on forever and they'll just follow each other and copy each other unless you tell it to do different. Um, when you turn these on, uh, well, let's, let's back up a minute. Let me show you this little... <laughs> chart that comes with it. I'm not going to show you any of the automatic stuff because I'm not going to use that stuff so I'm not going to take the time to figure it out. This is just for using the DMX controller and you'll see right there it says aisle on the top left. Now <laughs> most of us don't know what an aisle is. <laughs> it's actually your, your slider uh, control on your DMX. So number one is going to be, well, depending on how you set your DMX controller, it will be channel one, and I'll show you that in a minute. I'm not having much luck here with that paper. but um, So I would have thought when you turn these on, the channel one would be your first color. The, the aisle one would be the first color, but it's not. Um, it actually is, uh, this says it's a main switch combined with channels 5, 6, and 7. As it turns out on these, channels 5, 6, and 7 are red, blue, and green. So, if you don't have that slider up on channel 1, this slider on channel 1, the lights won't work. If this is all the way down, you can see that I've, I've labeled mine now, so I know what they are. you got your red... Uh, blue and green or red green and blue um so with that being said um on the back of the light now this is gonna be hard. i'm not gonna do it with those lights because they're all plugged in over here on the back of the light if you turn this on it says d001 now if you know anything at all about dmx lighting that is your address so what that means is one is going to be slider number one. If you change that to two, slider number one won't be affected. That'll make number two your slider number one. Or three or four or however it goes. All the way up this board has got 16 channels on it. So if you labeled, if you made that selector channel 17... That's going to make, over here, channel 1, channel 17, you'd have to hit this page select button right here. And now you'd have channel 17 would be your slider number 1. So, for all intents and purposes, we're using D001, which would be slider 1. Now, from what I've seen, most of these boards 
are pretty much all work the same. You have um, a scan button or a channel select button and we're going to use channel one and that's basically everything on one through 32 on this board. So you, you have um, A and B here which I just showed you does channels 1 through 16 and channel 17 through 32 and then if you select channel 2 that takes you up to channel 33 and this would become 33, 34, 35 and so on it just goes on and on and on so we're keeping this real simple we're going to use channel 1 slider 1 okay now with that little sheet I was just showing you it gives you the explanation again this says aisle one we're going to say slider one and slider two um, would make the light strobe slider three uh, is an auto channel and I'll show you that um, slider four does something different there it's a speed um, so when you get up into channel five six and seven that is your colors. So with this on, you've got your channel selected. We're going to push that fader all the way up. And now you should have colors on red, green, and blue. I know these cameras don't like those lights like that. So that's just simply red, green, and blue. And you can kind of mix them and match them. And I don't know if I turn that away, that helps. Maybe you can, I can turn the lights on and you can see it up here better. Red, green, and blue. There's your red. And green and blue. So these little buggers are, I mean, they're pretty bright for little $15 lights. I'm here to tell you that it's not too awful bad. I'm actually, I bought eight of them. I'm going to use them for a band. I mean, that's, we'll give it a try and see what happens. Now, coming back to the board, <clears throat> you can see that I figured out that channel two is strobe. And that's the speed of the strobe. Okay. Channel three is an auto channel. This is kind of cool because it will do things on its own without you having to mess with it. And you can control the speed of that by sliding this up. It makes that go faster. And it does different stuff. That one, it does like a gradient fade in. Different places on the, on the slide does different things. Right up to all the way up at the top, it'll do sound. So if you got a band playing or something, we'll go along with the sound. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. No, do you see the way I've got my... I'm going to turn the light back on there. I've got these lights labeled up to, up to channel 7. Now I've got another set of lights that are um, motion lights. And I've got them on channel 8 through 15. And by doing this like this, I can control those completely separate from these lights, which is kind of cool. I, I might use these uh, lights, my um, motion lights, like back on the drums for uh, uplighting or something like that. Or, or maybe I'll use a few of these for uplighting. I don't know how I'm going to do it just yet, but... Um, so that gives me uh, a 16 channel board without having to switch banks and, and all that kind of stuff. And it's really, a, it's these boards, you can find them right on eBay and stuff. They're really pretty inexpensive. I think they're, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks, something like that on eBay. And, and there's actually so much more that you can do with these boards. And I'm not even getting into that. I'm just simply showing you the DMX control of how to work those lights when you take them out of the box um, 
you start moving sliders around and nothing happens and you know you get real frustrated with it and I was about to go pfft, about to throw the things and uh, finally I walked away and came back and tried to make more sense of this uh, yeah this and I finally started seeing um, well, where you see the channel value and this is like 0 to 225 that's this that's this right here and by sliding I'm sliding the number one slider there and you got 0 to 225 and that's what that means there so I hope this has helped you out and um, like I said for uh, an inexpensive little light um, I'm pretty impressed. It's a little plastic uh, case around them. It's nothing fancy. Um, but for me, for what I need, something really light, something really easy to plug in, and really easy to control because I'm actually doing it uh, on the bass player in our band. I do it on stage. It's next to me. I run sound and lights on stage. And uh, so I'm looking for as simple and as easy as I can. And, and I think I found simple and easy. So hope this helps you out. And um, I'll try to answer any questions I can if you leave them there on, uh, on the page there. And uh, good luck.